Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to do a quick little review of the diva costume I got for Julia and also the headphones I just received, um, the Overwatch headphones I bought from Razer.com. Um, since they're both diva related, I thought I would combine them in one video. So let's start with the costume. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about this costume. Um, one of them is as if it has stained Julia. Um, so far, I have not seen any staining from this costume um, because I believe that it being in lined in white, I mean, it's a little bit see-through, but I don't think any staining would really happen with the body. However, maybe the neckline right here, and then I know like right around the arms here, um, there could be potential staining. However, I have not um, seen any staining on Julia because of it. Um, I don't know exactly what type of material this is, but it's really stretchy. And so, from the website I bought it from, um, Dolphy Project, I believe, I'll put it in the link below, um, it can fit different um, bust from what it said in the description. So, I think that's why it's so stretchy. Um, it's an all-one-piece suit. Um, it even has the little feet here. Um, and it zips up. So it fits your doll pretty um, nice and snug. Um, you can unzip it. It was a little bit of a challenge putting it on at first. Um, just trying to get the zipper part to get past um, Julia's bum area. Um, but after you get it on and it stretches out a little bit, um, it fits really well. Um, what also came with the costume are her her gloves, however, I need different hands for her hand to actually fit in the glove. So I probably need to buy the Smart Doll hands that are completely open with the fingers. Um, so that's why you have not seen these on her in my pictures. Um, they also come with these little, um, I think they're Diva's little wrist cuffs um, is what I'd call them. Um, I have not put these on her yet, um, because I'm waiting to get those hands. Um, it does come with a pair of headphones. However, mine are still in the process of being painted. So I'm trying to, I have to do a couple coats on it every now and then. Um, so I'm trying to get them painted to be exact to match like this, these headphones here. Okay, so to complete the... Diva's look here, I went ahead and I found some stickers and cut them into triangle shapes. Um, I got some stickers at uh, Michael's um, Arts and Crafts store and I found this these colored, or the exact color of Diva's costume um, in, this, in this weird sticker pack. Um, and I just went ahead and just cut them into little triangle pieces or or I don't know if they're triangle pieces, maybe right triangle pieces, um, to stick on her face because I didn't want to paint her face. Um, I don't want to ruin her face up. And then I also went with um, the cherry eyes and the brown wig um, from the Smart Doll website. Um, I felt like the cherry eyes best suited Diva because it went well with her costume. And I've seen different art portrayals of D.Va with kind of pink brown eyes. So that's why I chose the cherry eyes. Okay, so next would be the headphones. Um, again, I bought these from Razer.com. They are really packaged really well. Just see the front and back of the box here. The D.Va logo, really nice. <laughs> Um, I've seen a lot of reviews on this, on these headphones. Um, 
I was hoping to be able to use them for cosplay purposes. However, um, I, from watching a lot of reviews, I found that it, the headphone jack was not removable. Um, however, that could probably still work around that. I mean, hey, if you're cosplaying, you can listen to music at the same time. So it doesn't really matter, but um, they're a really good price to compare to a lot of the cosplay headphones that I've seen. These are $79, and you are able to actually use them functionally compared to a lot of cosplay prop headphones I've seen um, that are, you know, over $100. <laughs> and they don't offer you these features, so... Um, if you're looking for headphones, I would probably suggest going with these ones. Um, even if, you know, you're trying to cosplay with them. Yeah, see, the cord doesn't come off. I think you could still manage to make it work, maybe hiding the cord or something in the wig. Um, but they are really nice. They got these squishy padding on it, the color, everything looks just like Diva's headphones. Um, it's really packaged well. Seems like it's got Let's see here. All right, so it's got the cord. The cord is not it's like a, a rope material kind of cord. Um, it looks like it's got some volume control. Maybe an on and off switch here. I haven't really turned them on yet. Um, and Got a little manual here. Let's set these down real quick. What's in here? Oops, ripped it. Oh well. Probably just a little instruction, guys. For game, it says for gamers by gamers. All right, and then there is. Doesn't seem like there's anything else in the box. If there is, I'll mention it later in another video. But these are the headphones here. Um, they're a little bit too big for Julia. <laughs> oh, uh, she can hold them. Um, but anyways, guys, well, if you have any more questions about um, the Diva cosplay that I did for my smart doll or about these headphones, um, feel free to leave me a comment or um, you can message me on my Instagram or Twitter. Um, I'll include those in the description box below. Um, I'll also include every website that I mentioned in the description box below. Um, other than that, thanks for watching.